Hello once again. Today we will be doing a lesson that will benefit you greatly and this lesson is going to be on descriptive writing. For your exam, you might get a question asking you to describe a picture and sometimes you might be asked to match descriptive phrases or sentences with pictures. Before we get into the exam questions, let's look at the principles of descriptive writing. What is descriptive writing? And why is it important for us to know how to describe people, places and things? The answer is simple. It is to create an image in the reader's or the listener's mind. The primary objective of descriptive writing is to provide a clear picture of what you have seen or experienced. There are a few points that will help you describe pictures, people and things effectively. Think about using appropriate adjectives and adverbs. Remind yourselves of all those adjectives and adverbs you have learned over the years. Adjectives are words that describe a noun or a pronoun. Because adjectives are used to identify or quantify individual people and unique things, they are usually positioned before a noun. In these examples, the highlighted words are adjectives. They live in a big house. It is a hot day. On her birthday, Kumudini received a lovely doll with long black hair. Some sentences contain multiple adjectives. An adverb is a verb that modifies an adjective or a word group. Adverbs can always be used to modify verbs. Notice that the second of these two sentences is much more interesting simply because it contains an adverb. The dog ran. You can picture a dog running, but you don't really know much more about the scene. The dog ran excitedly. You can picture a dog running, wagging its tail, panting happily and looking glad to see its owner. You can paint a much more interesting picture in your head when you know how and or why the dog is running. Also, when describing pictures, explain what is in the picture. You can start the description with phrases like, in the picture, I can see, or there is, there are. You can also use the present continuous when describing pictures. For example, the man is washing his car. The students are walking to school. Another important point to consider when describing a picture is to figure out where in the picture the subject is. You can use any of these phrases. At the top or bottom of the picture. At the bottom of the picture, there are flowers. In the middle of the picture. In the middle of the picture is a small girl. On the left or right of the picture. On the left side of the picture, there is a dog. Next to. Next to the dog, there is a ball. In front of. In front of a tree is a ball. In front of the tree, there is a ball. Behind. Behind the girl, there is a house. Near. Near the house is a tall tree. On top of. On top of the house is another bird. Under. Under the tree is a boy. Now turn to page 8 in your pupil's book. Activity 8. Look at the picture given. You are asked to write 5 sentences based on this picture. Let's do it together, shall we? The picture shows an old lady crossing the road with a young boy. The young boy is helping the old lady cross the road. They are both very happy. They are safely walking on the zebra crossing. There is traffic on the road and there are cars on either side of them. Now turn to page 17 in your pupil's book. Unit 2, Activity 4. 
you are asked to write a description of each of these activities. The first activity is rock climbing. There are two people climbing a rock. They are wearing protective gear and are carefully climbing the rock. This activity looks dangerous. The second picture is a group of people in a jungle hiking. There are four people walking on a path through a jungle. They are all carrying backpacks. There is a lot of greenery and nature around them. The third and last picture is of two people diving. The picture shows two divers in the sea or ocean. They are wearing all the right gear underwater. The divers are looking at a large sea turtle. At the bottom of the picture, you can see some seaweed. Describing pictures should be easy for you now. Let's look at a question from the 2016 past paper. Test 3. Study the picture and fill in the blanks. As we read the description, let's fill in the blanks. Ravi and his family are moving to a new house. The truck has just arrived with their furniture. This picture shows what everyone is doing. Ravi is carrying a flower pot and his mother is sweeping the floor. There are five men helping with the furniture. They are carrying a table, a chair and a bed into the house. Ravi's father is supervising or you can say looking at the men unloading the furniture. There is another man with a broom in his hands. He is cleaning the wall with it. There is a large tree in the garden. Now let's look at another question from the 2018 past paper. Test 1. Match the following place with their descriptions. Write the correct letter in the blank. The first one is done for you. In this question, you have to look at the table that has been given above the descriptions for your answers. A place where planes land and take off. F. Airport. A place of religious worship. D. Temple. A place where animals, birds and reptiles are kept for exhibition. E. Zoo. Sick people are given medical treatment here. A. Hospital. An institution of higher education. B. University. Books, magazines and newspapers are kept here. C. Library. Finally, before ending this lesson, let's look at test 13 of the 2019 paper. Some employment opportunities advertised in a local newspaper are given below. Match them with the descriptions of people given. Write the correct letter of the advertisement in the box. Let's read the advertisements together. A. Help. Snack bar serving person. Friendly and energetic. Experience not essential. Saturday and Sunday only. Call or drop in at Kingsway Centre, Badulla. Telephone 074-800-4580 and ask for the manager. B. Guest's favourite hotel. Requires a part-time waiter or waitress. Only applicants with experience and good references need to apply. Excellent wages, meals on duty, telephone 073-352-7281. C. Wanted a babysitter from January to July. Warm and kind-hearted. Hours 8.30 to 5. Monday to Friday. References required for further details Phone 073-400-0018. D. Cleaner required for 12th floor modern office block in Station Road, Jaila. Two hours per day, Monday to Friday to finish work before 8 a.m. 
wages rupees 20000 per month telephone 0737840868 e full time cook for a new and exciting cafe venture good conditions pay and working hours can be negotiated apple green cafe 0788487051 now let's look at the descriptions of these people and match them with what we just read. A person with two small children who wants a few hours of work, unskilled labor in the early mornings. This would be perfect for D, the cleaner who has just two hours of work a day. A lady with no experience or qualifications is looking for a short term full time job, Monday to Friday. This description fits C, where a babysitter is wanted on a short-term basis from January to July. A student with no experience who cannot work on weekdays. This matches A. It says that the snack bar serving person does not need any experience and can work only on Saturdays and Sundays. A student who has followed a course in a hotel school is now looking for his first full-time job. This is for advertisement E. They need a full-time cook. A person with many years of experience working in hotels is now looking for a well-paid part-time employment in a hotel. This description matches B. This person is looking for a part-time job and the hotel is willing to offer part-time work to an experienced waiter or waitress. We have come to the end of our lesson. Our next lesson will be on describing graphs and charts. You will be getting 10 marks for that particular question for your exam. So make sure you join us for that. To subscribe to this channel, please click on the link below. Have a great day.